struggling platinum mine Lonman announced a 400 million US dollar or about 5.4 billion rand in an equity raise earlier this week. Now it's the second capital raising in only three years. Meanwhile, the mine has also aimed to go ahead with cutting 6,000 jobs, a process that will cost Lonman 800 million rand. While Lonman currently sits with a debt level of 185 million US dollars and its share price sits at a record low of 3 rand 12 cents. The latest edition of Finweek reveals that the company's BEE partner, that's Shanduka, owes the miner 5 billion rand. With me in studio to unpack all of this is the Finweek deputy editor, that is Anneli Groenewald. Anneli, thanks for your time. Lonman, this 5 billion rand, where did that come from? Um, <coughs> yeah, I think we need to look a bit at the history. So, um, when Shantuka became a shareholder, uh, well, the BE partner in 2010, um, Lonman granted them a 200 million pound loan to facilitate the deal. Um, what's happened is that Lonman, uh, well, Shantuka hasn't paid back a single cent of that 200 million pounds. Um, and with interest and the rand weakening, that's resulted in them now owing 5 billion rands. Um, so the problem is that at the same time, the, well, Shanduka has been receiving dividends as well as advanced dividends to a total of 1.25 billion rand over the past five years. Hmm. Well, interesting stuff there. Do you think yeah. that uh, given the negativity and the sentiment around a BE transaction, this uh, could impact a further sentiment uh, when we look at you know, BE transactions as a whole? Yeah, um, I think there should definitely be a concern that when a transaction of this scale happens at um, such a such a big miner um, and uh, you know obviously there are anti-BE advocates mm -hmm. um, and this is n this is not good for for the country because those advocates are going to use it as an example um, I also don't think it's good um, well, it shows a good image in the in the arts for global investors mm. um, that something like this happens. But I also think that you should probably ask how was it allowed to get to this stage? Exactly. Um, management on London's side, what you know, what went wrong? How, how is it possible to, to get to this point? Mm. There certainly are very big losers when we look at uh, London. The shareholders can't be very happy about that. No, of they can't be. We'll be keeping an eye yeah. on this particular um, story. Also, if you if you have a look at London's current market cap, mm. it sits at I think about 3.5 billion. Um, so it's very interesting to consider the fact that they actually owed more than what they're currently trying to worth to shareholders. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, Anneli, thank you so much. And of course, like I said, we'll be keeping an eye on this. And I'm pretty sure that we uh, might be getting some more news for and you'll be right there giving us an update on it. Okay. Thank you so much to the deputy editor that is Anneli Groenewald. Well,